Okay, I gotta be quick about this. Um, I gotta go help and put the kids to bed. We watched a really good movie tonight. Um, How to Train Your Dragon 2. Very good, very logos filled. Um, I wanted to talk for just a minute about not today's Supreme Court decision. So today is June 24th, 2022. And you probably heard the news that um, after 50 years, uh, this was the exact day that the Supreme Court decided to overturn Roe v. Wade. A lot of people are real pissed about it. A lot of people are real happy about it. I'm here to tell you that it's probably not going to affect you directly. And even if it does, what were you going to do to change it? Here's my point. You can get all pissed off about it and everything. You can go and celebrate and, and you know, like dish out memes like they're no tomorrow. And that's fun for a time and that's satisfying for a time to get all angry or get all, you know, shot and freuded. At the end of the day, though, which that's what it is right now for us. <clears throat> you know, what are you going to do with it? How's that going to help you? If this anger stays with you and you don't do anything with it, you're just burning rubber. What's the point? I've tried to make a video of something like this for a long time. And I don't know, like multiple times, for like many, many, many more minutes. And it never comes out right. I don't know how to tell you this. I don't know how to tell anyone this. I just, I'd rather just live it. And then let my works be an example onto you that they might convince you instead. My works it is, because my words kind of suck. I don't know how to talk. I don't know how to debate. Um, I can catch grammar from a mile away, but who cares? That... But bro, why don't you care about this, man? It's important. This is like the biggest decision ever. I admit I didn't expect it. I did not expect this at all. Why don't you care about it, bro? I just... I went to work today. I did work. I came home. Hung out with the kids. Made some dinner. Um... Checked on the chickens. We got chickens. There's, there's cows. There's dogs. I just... I'm about to put the kids to bed. My wife's going to get mad at me because I'm spending more than two minutes out here putting the chickens to bed. And you're like, why aren't you putting the kids to bed? I'm, like, I'm coming, I'm coming. That's so much more satisfying. That's all I... It's a whole lot more satisfying. I know a lot of... There's no point in getting all torn up about this. I used to. I used to pay attention to all this stuff and be really invested in it. And I'm not so much anymore. I still follow it. I still am aware of it. Sometimes I still get frustrated and angry at stuff. But, like, if it's not... If I don't actually apply it to anything productive, then I'm just burning rubber. Burning rubber, that, that doesn't help. That just poisons the environment. Both literally and verbally. Figuratively. It's like, why, why bother doing that? I spent like more than a decade reading and arguing online about politics and philosophy and stuff, current events and things. I'm here to tell you it's not worth it. Okay. I was talking to a coworker. Um, he was calling in to check on things, just you know, see how things were doing. And I told him the news. He was like, "Oh, maybe I should check out the news." I'm like, "Nope, no, no, you don't. No, you don't. You have you." Let that be my burden to bear. I do think it's important to keep an eye on things. And it's good to, to formulate an opinion on things. But the people who have... But the people who do the most stuff are the most productive. They also have the brashest opinions. They don't care what other people think. They're just simple one-liner, boilerplate opinions. Because they don't care about it. Because they're too busy making stuff. They're too busy generating wealth. They're too busy having fun with their actual good lives. I murdered my 20s in front of the computer screen, whether it was arguing online or playing games, sometimes online. Now I'm in my 30s and it's like, man, that was a waste. It's not going to get you, it's not going to help. It's, it's, you're better off bettering yourself and you're not going to do that arguing on a forum or Reddit or Twitter or YouTube. Go learn to do something cool. I got my wife to start cooking. I started cooking because I'm a picky eater and I like to I like my food to taste good. 
And it took her a long time to overcome that sort of mental hump of like, oh, I can do this too. And it's okay to start small. Anything worth doing is worth failing a couple times at the beginning. That's fine. You'll get there. I don't know what you want to do, but I'll be something productive. And I'll be something more. Hey. I'll be something more productive than arguing online or following all this stuff. Maybe your goal is to be a revolutionary. That would be more productive than just letting your passion burn. But quit, quit that. Just sitting there letting it burn is just toxic. It's just spiking your cortisol levels. It's literally poison. Don't do it. If you have questions, let me know. But I just need to get that out there. God bless. Onwards to Victoria.